over Google's next real estate conquest, a sprawling swath in Sunnyvale. Could be a home to 4,500 new employees. Two new buildings along Caribbean Drive would add more than a million square feet of office space for Google. KPI X5's Devin Feely in Sunnyvale with more on Google's ambitious expansion plans. Devin? Yeah, Google has gone on a, mil a billion dollar shopping spree in this area, and their plans would mean a dramatic makeover for the city's Moffat Park area. And while the plans were generally cheered by city officials, there are still some lingering concerns about the impacts on traffic and housing. Although significantly smaller than its proposed San Jose campus, the sprawling one million square foot office park Google wants to build in Sunnyvale would nonetheless transform the mostly older office and industrial buildings that currently make up the city's Moffat Park neighborhood. Google is spread out. They do want to be consolidating. They want to have a handful of campuses instead of this sprawling development that they've got going on right now. But it's also true that Google is anticipating all kinds of growth. The tech giant filed an application with the city yesterday, including these images of what the proposed campus might look like. But it's already gobbled up nearly a billion dollars in property in the area, despite what could be a lengthy review process by the Planning Commission and City Council. So we're already fortunate to have Google with a significant presence in Sunnyvale. They're our fifth largest employer, um, and we'll continue to work with them through the process with this new application. <laughs> Google is planning to build a six million square foot campus near San Jose's Deer Dog train station in roughly a decade. They hope to break ground in three to four years in Sunnyvale, but would do so without any tax breaks from the city. The city of Sunnyvale does not offer development incentives to any applicant. With a campus in Mountain View and plans to expand in Sunnyvale and San Jose, is there any risk the tech giant could overextend itself? Analysts say possible but not likely. I think Silicon Valley continues to be the innovation capital of the world, and it's going to be fueled by Google and Apple and Facebook. Now, Google's proposed campus in San Jose would house roughly 15 to 20,000 employees, fewer here in Sunnyvale. And although both projects are located near transit, they will likely drive up both traffic and housing costs in the area. In Sunnyvale, Devin Vili, KPIX 5.